everyone. Uh, Shen Thomas here. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, grab breakaways with Wing Chun. And what that is, is whenever we get in close range, right, and we're using our Wing Chun tools, and we're, you know, right there, almost, you know, wooden dump, what I'd call wooden dummy range, you know, right, where we're in that range where we can use elbows and that sort of thing. Well, the main danger or problem is you're going to have uh, your opponent and you might be bridged with the opponent well he's gonna he's gonna grab onto you because whenever you're striking multiple strikes inside you know with, with our various tools um, what's gonna happen is when your opponent starts getting hit he's gonna just try to grab and latch on right and whenever he grabs and latches on uh, that gives us time for about two or three strikes because if somebody actually grabs and they latch on uh, with their fingers and their thumb what happens is their mind gets kind of caught up in that grab and in controlling for at least you know two or three seconds usually they're grabbing and controlling and what happens is when we do a grab breakaway to break out of that grab their mind is kind of still in the grab uh, the other part of that is whenever they lock on with the with the thumb They can't really disengage. They can't disengage Faster than we can break the grab and strike two or three times, right? So every time somebody does grab with that thumb uh, They're really Limiting uh, how they can respond because they're they're really committed to that grab and when they do that then we can do the grab breakaway and two or three strikes okay and so with the uh, the 12 tools of Wing Chun that I've kind of talked about before uh, you know we start with uh, a Jom Sao we go into like a Man Sao we go into an Intercept we go into the Tan Sao the Bong Sao and the Folk Sao right we have the Pak Sao we have the Wu Sao, we have the Gan Sao, right? And then we have the Hok Bong, Hok Bong. We have the Rolling Elbow, okay? And then we just have our Straight Blast Wing Chun uh, Chain Punch, right? Which is, you know, our vertical punch that we use, okay? With all those tools, they actually have grab breakaways kind of built into each one. Uh, and usually with Wing Chun, uh, the first ones that we're taught are just kind of this cutting down with the Jom Sao. And other martial arts do that too. You know, somebody grabs on and we, we shave them off as we move. But the problem with doing anything with both arms against one grab is we can get punched with the other free hand. You know, somebody's grabbing, they can punch even though we strip that grab off. <clears throat> so, all of these grab breakaways that we teach uh, in, in my, my Wing Chun system are all kind of one-handed, right? And they work even against both hands. If, if somebody's grabbing with both hands, you can use one arm and it gets rid of the, the grab very effectively. So then, of course, you have the other hand free. Or if you have both arms out and you have a person on both sides grabbing each arm, you can easily break free using these one one-handed grab breakaways, okay? Uh, and so, usually with students, I start them off with the, with the Jom Sao first. So I'll have somebody grab from above, you know, with same arm grab or opposite arm grab. And then you you end up turning with the tan sao uh, towards the little finger. So if it's the same arm grab or the opposite arm grab, you always turn and bring a tan sao up on the side of the little finger, right? And so in this situation, this would be the same arm grab. You'd come up with tan sao on the side of the little finger, finger, and then you you do the jom sao towards their stomach. You know and uh, 
all of these grab breakaways instead of trying to turn or twist out of it uh, and pull back all of these are made to go forward okay so by going forward what happens is you you destabilize you know the strength in their grabbing arm by going forward and pushing it back into them they lose the power out of that and then at the same time that we do that then we can jam and strike with the other hand you know so it becomes like a a jump sal da or strike or a ton da strike or a folk sal strike or a bong sal strike right and so uh use, utilizing all these these different grab breakaways uh is very useful in you know when we get into that and we we were in that close range and they're throwing strikes at us and we're we're doing these different blocks but then we kind of bridge you know and we come in maybe we hit them once or twice and then they then they grab and latch on well when they grab we do that grab breakaway boom you know just really quick and move into more strikes right and so we might strike them a couple times and they grab with both arms grab maybe both of our arms well then we might go down through the thumb with the grab breakaway or do a rolling elbow grab breakaway right or a buji where we come under the grab and break away <clears throat> and so the the breakaways are a little bit different when they grab you when you're up here versus when they grab you down here okay so uh usually with sparring uh when we're getting into it they're grabbing us up here they're they're doing this this type of grab uh because usually that lower grab is when you're just walking and somebody's grabbing you to pull you right to pull you or to kind of control you or, or to hold you you know somebody might come up and grab at the elbow and the arm and try to hold you while somebody else attacks you and so then that's where you have to learn these different types of grab breakaways okay and so i'll do a video on more specific grab breakaways uh, i'll have a little partner so i can show you how they work and how to do a little drill so you get familiar with these